What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and Charles and I are at this beautiful lake in Haines, Alaska. And we're, we're gonna go do some fishing on our little Oru kayak right here. We have this tandem kayak. We're gonna try it out, see if we can get a fish. There's a lot of fish jumping out there. And I heard they're Dolly Varden and Sockeye Salmon. And we'll see if we can get any of them. Let's go. All right, let's check it out. Bears, we come in peace. We come in respect. We come in respect. <laughs> so we do have bear spray with us. Uh, no firearm, just the bear spray, but they say bear spray is the number one thing you should have if you're out in bear country. And a flare. And, and a flare, they say a flare is good too. We don't have one of those. We got a nice little stream right here. And the best thing you can do, I guess while you're walking out in these kind of places, if it's in bear country, and you just uh, kind of talk, talk or sing or yell or something. Just let, let the bears know that we are here. All right, so I'm just going to keep talking. Hello, bears. You come in peace. Hello. Uh, I'm just checking over here to see if there's a trail. I don't see a trail. No trail. Yeah, not much of a trail here, but uh, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty bushy. Pretty bushy out here. Got a nice, nice stream here. That's, this is what leads out into the lake. All right, we're back at our kayak. Look at this view. Sheesh. Yeah, it's <laughs> got a net on, mosquito net. Yeah. I bought it for her. <laughs> yeah. And she really likes it. He was laughing and he's like, this is what you need. I was like, actually, yes. Shouldn't have brought this banana. I'm not superstitious or anything, but just a little stitious. You see, bananas bad luck for fishing. All right, guys, it's getting a bit too windy. And it might get a little dangerous if we start getting white caps on the lake, uh, especially in this kayak. So we're going to head back in for now. Oh, oh that was tough. So we actually just kayaked almost all the way across the entire lake. And when we were almost to the other side, I felt the wind on my back. I was like, uh oh, so I was like, we gotta turn around cause there's gonna be, start getting windy. So we headed right back and man, it took, took a long time and a lot of energy too. These kayaks are great, but they're so lightweight that when there's wind, and especially if you're going against it, oh, it's so tough. Whew, but we're back now, our campsite's right here. Finally, took a solid hour to paddle back. All right, guys, we're just gonna have some lunch right here. We're gonna make some yakisoba with uh, whatever ingredients we have. We have like zucchini from the garden that we have to use, uh, some tofu as well. And I'm gonna have a beer too, because we did a lot of paddle paddling. Cheers, guys. Ooh, little beer for breakfast. No, I'm just kidding. This is it's lunch. It's not breakfast. <laughs> she really likes to axe wood. So um I got a I got an axe, a bigger axe. She's having a good time. <laughs> Alright, let me just heat up this pan here. I'm just gonna use some sesame oil to start with. Don't normally start with sesame oil, kind of finish with it, but it's alright. Because sesame oil doesn't have as high of a smoking temperature, so that's why it's already smoking. But it's all good. Gotta prep my garlic. Always crush your garlic. Just 
go, let's go ahead, just take one step in. Just put that off to the side. I'm gonna boil my water again. This water is already hot. I just dropped the noodles in here. So it's already hot. I just want to get this cooked a bit. And I'm gonna add the noodles into there. I got some tofu as well. I got some some kimchi <laughs> and I have some chili uh, Thai chili fish sauce right here very delicious and I have some soy sauce too comes with some yakisoba seasoning too you can use this Chili. I might as well put some kimchi too, since I have some. Tastes pretty good. One more sesame oil. I think we're good. Best part right there, crispy noodles. There we go, got a little yakisoba lunch. Mmm. Got the best part right here. Mmm, a little burnt crispy noodle, some leftover tofu. That's pretty spicy. Those Thai chilies, man. It's a great lunch. I gotta catch some fish. Hopefully, I catch one later. I think I'll go back on the kayak later, but just hang out around this area. Now, <laughs> try to go all the way to the other side. <laughs> that was a lot of work. So, I talked to a couple guys and I found out that, uh, yeah, all those salmon that are in the lake right now are sockeye salmon. And they say that most likely you're not gonna be able to um, get them to bite. But, anyways, check this out. We're at this little location where there's rip, uh, water flowing down right here. And uh, I guess you just fill your water bottle here Ooh. and it's all drinkable. <sighs> nice and cold. Yeah. So this right here is actually the river that runs into the lake. This river is actually only about a mile or two long and then it reaches uh, the lake up there and the uh, sort of the more open ocean I guess is right there so when they get up to the lake uh, the salmon and, and stuff that I see jumping they're still pretty chrome uh, they're not like colorful too colorful yet even the sockeye salmon when the sockeye spawn they get really really red and they call them red salmon uh, for that reason but uh, the legs the ones I've been seeing jumping I haven't seen any that were bright red uh, some of them get really red. I think the males especially. All right, I got my silly neoprene waders on. <laughs> so let's try to go catch a fish from the riverbank. We'll try, we'll give that method a shot. N don't have any high hopes. I guess they're coming up here. Well, they're coming up here to spawn and then once they're in spawning mode, they don't eat. So we'll see what happens. Maybe there could be some Dolly Varden in there, which will actually take um, we'll, they'll bite on it, so we'll try it. So I'm gonna try these guys out. These spoons, I guess up here in Alaska, everybody uses these things, and they work, they seem to work well for them. Um, so my rod and reel setup, I have a Daiwa Acculite, this is a medium, medium fast action, and a Daiwa, uh, this is a 
Daiwa Legalis 3000, size 3000 reel. And I have some, I think this is 25 pound braid uh, with 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. All right, but I need to get one. This water here is all milky because it's uh, it's fed in from the glaciers. All right, I'm gonna stand right here. Let's give it a shot. Oh, oh, fish jumped right next to me. All right, we'll just try a slow, steady retrieve here. I don't think it's too deep, so I gotta retrieve slightly fast. So many mosquitoes, dude, you guys have no idea. There's so many mosquitoes out here. Mosquitoes and these other things called no -seums. They're tiny little, like, it look, they look like gnats that bite you. And there's so many of them. I'm just moving downstream a little bit. The road's just right up here. So I don't think there's gonna be any bears, but I do have my bear spray on me. Uh, just in case a bear sneaks up behind me or something. But we haven't seen any which is unfortunate because this river is known to have a lot of bears. <laughs> they say, uh, yeah, it's a lot of salmon and there should be a lot of bears. But I guess we're just here at the wrong time. I guess last week there was a lot. They were saying no salmon, no bears, I guess. Little guy, what is this little guy? Shoot, I forgot my net. <laughs> Got a fish, got a fish. It's a dolly varden. That's a dolly, baby. It's a little dolly. It's a little dolly varden. Got him. Oh, I'm getting bit up. I don't have my bucket or anything, so I gotta go. I just gotta head back. Gonna walk out of here. He's already bleeding out, so I'm gonna harvest this guy. A little dolly varden. You see the dots on him. Check it out guys, we got a little dolly varden. Never had these guys before. Heard they're good. Look like a little tiny trout, huh? Or not a tiny trout, but it's about 13 inches. 12, 13. Yeah, we'll see how they taste. I wanna try to get another one, but I don't wanna just leave it here. I don't think there's any bears right now. So I think we're good. I'm just gonna stay right by my fish and uh, fish for maybe another 10 minutes. Try to get another one. So that's a little guy. All right, guys, my confidence has been restored. There's so many bugs out here right now. Oh, they're just eating my face. Did I just get, oh, I just got a big one. Oh, oh my God. It's a nice one. Just got to grab them by the gills. Look at that. Look at that. He bit that lure. He bit that lure, dude. Oh. Oh. Holy shit. Oh my God. How the hell? Oh, this is the craziest looking fish ever. Oh my God. Look at this fish, man. Look at how crazy looking this fish is. This is a male sockeye salmon. And this guy is gonna get red. It's starting to turn pink right now. You can kind of see it has like a pinkish hue. But this guy, when he gets all the way up the river, it's gonna be bright red. And I think they call them humpies too, because of that freaking hump huge hump -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> freaking did it let's get out of here before a bear comes so turns out that that's actually a pink salmon also known as a humpy uh, and not a sockeye and i was just i just had sockeye in my mind because that's what they were telling me that there's sockeye in the rivers right now and that's it and maybe a few dolly varden here and there so i just had sockeye in my mind and, but that's actually a pink salmon. So you hear me say that uh, sockeye over and over throughout this video, but that's not a sockeye, it's a pink. Well guys, another look. It literally is like a beast, right? Can't believe that's a fish. That humpback is crazy. Pretty crazy. I'm actually really interested to see what's underneath this hump. <laughs> hey, you know what? First thing I'm gonna do is take his head off. This flesh is very, very white for a salmon.
kind of like cartilage. Yeah, look, this part right here, that's that hump. And I think it's pretty much, I don't know, it kind of seems like Angawa kind of thing, but it's cartilage, I think. It could be muscle, I'm not even, yeah, I don't even know. I'm gonna trim it off. I guess it is muscle. Underneath that is pretty much same kind of meat on the filet. There you go, guys, that's a sockeye salmon filet. You can see the hump portion better on this guy. Look at that, it's just, I think it, that's pretty much cartilage or fat. And don't forget, I have my other little guy, the Dolly Varden. We gotta fillet this guy too. Well, we can probably cook this whole, but you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna smoke him. So I'm gonna actually take his head off, and I'm gonna butterfly it open. So let me show you how to do that. Just start underneath, right there. Get to that center bone. All right, I just brightened up the ISO just to. I just brightened up the ISO just so you guys can kind of see better. All right, so just made that cut there. And then the rib cage, just gonna cut into the rib cage as well. Basically, cut the rib cage off like that. And then slice, but don't cut all the way through. like that and we're gonna take this chop that off so that's the spine and you're left with this right here and we'll just take the rib cage off on both sides and that's it and we're gonna leave it like that So I actually quickly made a brine. Uh, it's about 40% uh, salt, 60% sugar. And I use white, white sugar because that's all I have right now. And uh, so I can brine these guys overnight so they'll be ready to go, ready to just get smoked in the morning. Perfect, yes, it fits. And just to keep them down in the water, I have one last piece of paper towel. And I'm just gonna put that on top. That'll make sure that there's contact with the brine the whole time. And I'm just gonna wrap this nice. Morning guys. So I'm gonna try to make a little smoker, make a tripod, put some leaves around it and try to make a little smokehouse. I think I wanted about Five feet tall, maybe. Cut it off right around here. Basically make a tripod like this. That's gonna fit inside of here. And I'm gonna have a platform here, and that's where I'll put the salmon. Paracord is always good in any situation. So I'm just using that to tie off the top. I'm gonna put it about uh, maybe two feet off the ground. So it's a little bit away from the fire, so it doesn't catch on fire and it just gets that smoke. Yeah, right about there. <laughs> yeah, perfect. All right, now I have the platform pretty nice and secure. So now I just have to drape some, uh, some leaves on it here. And then we gotta have our smokehouse. All right, so you guys get the idea. I'm gonna put a little more on there, start a small fire, have some smoke going. And then I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna just have the smoke going for a little bit before I put the fish on there. Just try to uh, sort of sanitize the sticks and stuff. As long as we get a fire going, that's all that matters. We'll just move this out of the way. We'll put the salmon in there and we'll smoke it for, I don't know, four hours maybe. 
five hours. All right, here's my fish brined overnight and the brine turned into like slime. Is that normal? The skin was like really slimy. All right, I'm gonna just throw it in there. I'm gonna go skin side down for now. Dolly Varden going in first. There you go, all in there. I'm gonna cover it up and I'm gonna put a little more on here so we can keep most of the smoke in there. So I actually changed these up to skin side up. Don't try this at home, especially if you live somewhere where there's a fire hazard, like the whole entire West Coast, pretty much. Let me just do it for you in here in Alaska. It's going well so far. We'll just keep an eye on this fire, make sure it doesn't die, and make sure it doesn't light the whole thing on fire. A small fire is okay. Put one more piece of wood in there. Okay, so we've been smoking these guys for over two hours now. Uh, let's see how they're looking. Let me just pull this one out so we can take a look. Ooh, feels pretty good. Oh, look at that. It's smoking away nicely. Yeah, it's looking good. Still a little raw on the, uh, on the bigger parts. So we'll keep that in. It's looking nice. I'm gonna turn these guys so that that's where the stick was. That's not getting any smoke, so I'm just gonna turn it. So these guys, <laughs> they got a little, little seasoning. They got a little seasoned by the evergreen here. A little evergreen seasoning. <laughs> like literally. How's this one? Yeah, looking pretty good. Oh, the, the belly side seems to be done. It's very oily, these, these parts, you see that? See that? Very oily, look at that. How about my Dolly Varden? I think my Dolly Varden could be done. There you go. Here's my Dolly Varden. Looking pretty good too. I'm gonna go a little bit more on this. Go a little soft. Everything's looking great though. Okay guys, we're done. We smoked this for nearly six hours. Look at this. Ooh, ooh, check that out. Yeah, that looks freaking awesome, doesn't it? I say that's nicely smoked. Yeah. All right, let's check the other ones too. This one, nice. Very nice. Let's check my Dolly Varden, my single Dolly Varden. Ooh, since it's smaller, you know, I just did it same amount of time. Kind of dried out a little more, more like jerky like a smoke jerky there. That should be good too. So we got all over the salmon. This one was faced up, this skin side down. So you can see the skin is a lot more toasty or smoked, but. All right, let's see how we did in terms of taste. All right, let's taste this. Which one would you like to take, Dolly Varden or the sockeye? Here we go, Dolly Varden. Nice color, ooh, like jerky. Go ahead. You want to take a go ahead, take a piece off. Or you want this one? All right, let's try this. Sort of a jerky Dolly Varden, smoked. Hmm. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's a nice little fish jerky. Good smoky flavor. Yeah. Kind of sweet. I like the texture. Mm-hmm. Really good. Like that, that smoke texture, like this one, right? Mm-hmm. Like a nice jerky texture. Lovely. It's nice and sweet. Yeah. Oh, I got. If you want a harder piece, it's go for the belly. All right, let's try this salmon. Very curious about this too. Let's try this. Oh, whoa! Mm. That's way different. Mm -hmm. That's so much more flavor. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Sockeye is good. Oh my gosh. Not surprising. No. Yeah. Dang, sockeye is really good. You didn't season them differently or anything? Nope, same brine, put it in the same thing, but they taste completely different. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this, because this is smaller, so it cooked a little longer? Yeah, let me try the belly side. The belly side cooked a little longer on this too, so. Mmm, well that's, the texture of the belly side is really good. I like that nice jerky kind of texture. Mm. But jerky, I mean soft. This flesh is really soft. Mm-hmm. It's really oily. Mm-hmm. Dang, that's awesome. 
Well, very impressed with both of these. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try the skin too on this belly side. Maybe a little leathery. But it might be a good leathery. <laughs> like a jerky. Good? Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Took on a lot of the smoky flavor so, on the skin, so that actually tastes really good. Let me try the skin of this Dolly Varden. Doesn't taste like much. All right, well, we got our road snacks here now. Great little uh, smoked fish. Wow, well, no, I was going, going into the fishing. I wasn't very confident that I was gonna catch one for this video. <laughs> Thought it was just gonna be sort of a vlog type thing but managed to get it done and it's really good this is really good we are hitting it off well in alaska yeah yeah so next spot is juno we're gonna stay here one more night or not here but stay in haynes one more night but we're going to juno first thing tomorrow so we'll see you guys there in juno thanks for watching this one guys make sure to hit that thumbs up if you like the video subscribe if you want to see more of this content so we're going to be in alaska uh pretty much the rest of the summer so subscribe guys thanks for watching see you next time peace